Is your small business growing? That's the question we address right here on the Grow Your Biz Show. It's where we interview strategic entrepreneurs who inform and inspire you on your solopreneur or small company journey. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Grow Your Biz Show. Hi, I'm Paul with GrowMedia.com. Today's show is going to be a little different. Instead of one long interview, we're going to have several short interviews, kind of a best of compilation show, kind of a trailer show, if you will. So get your seatbelt on. We're going to take a ride and get out there and grow something. Hello, Paul Madsen with GrowMedia.com. I'm pleased to be with Tom Becca today. Tom, good to see you. Good to see you, Paul. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Well, good. Hey, Tom, tell yeah. us, what business are you in? I'm in the Tom Becca business. Tom Becca business. What does that mean, and what does that translate to? It means I've taken, you know, what, uh, you know, I, I found a way to take whatever personality I have and whatever thoughts I have and turn it into a, a profitable business. And whatever strengths you have. Yeah, strengths, I mean, yeah. And taking that and, and with the talk radio, with the TV commentary on Fox 42, with, uh, you know, getting into social media, also doing real estate, uh, where I've taken uh, my name and my contacts, my reputation, and I've worked that into real estate. So, you know, I'm keeping very busy. Uh, but basically, it's all based on me. I, I live or die by, you know, it's a, it's a, what do they say, you know, I, uh, I eat what I kill, right? <laughs> and, that's, and, I've, and I've done it, I've done it by uh, just, you know, being myself and putting myself out there. And I've been uh, very fortunate with my career in finding uh, an audience that's been willing to, uh, uh, you know, uh, go along with me for the ride. Well, that's awesome. So it sounds like... A you're saying build your brand, build build on your strengths, build what you have. Uh, some might have said that you're not a fit for certain industries along the way, but you still uh, built on that anyway. Jerry Seinfeld has a great quote. He says, being a stand-up comic is a lot like being a mass murderer. No matter how many times people try to talk you out of it, you're still going to do it. So, you know, you find your passion and you follow it. That's and good. that's what you do. I mean, you know, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you go and you find whatever your passion may be, and you go that route, and there are going to be people along the way that are going to say, you can't do that. Well, yeah, it's easy to listen to them. Don't. Follow your passion. Follow, you know, be smart about it, but, you know, make sure that you really, that your passion really, uh, if, my, if my passion is playing in the NBA, that ain't going to happen, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. But, but follow, you know, follow your passion and, and, and make it happen and, uh, and be smart about it, and don't let the naysayers throw you by the wayside. Perfect. For, for an entrepreneur who wants to get started in my business, uh, your advice for them for self-promotion would be what? Uh, a little bit of everything. Get out there, meet people. Um, you know, it's it's uh, you know, social media is a great opportunity, but it also boils down to making that that personal one-on-one um, -on -one, um, uh, connection. I, I call it the uh, Hannibal Lecter um, yeah. uh, <laughs> technique. In other words, if I meet somebody, you know, and and they meet me and we get a chance to talk, you know, they they'll have a more favorable um, image of me. Sure, sure. Right. And, as, and, and Hannibal Lecter, it was like, you know, if he touched somebody, he wouldn't kill you, right? <laughs> I, you know, and that's the same sort of thing. It's, it's like, so, you know, you go and you meet people and you get, you know, try to uh, get a, a favorable um, sure. uh, connection with them. And then hopefully, you know, word of mouth spreads and that, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, your budget, if your budgets are tight, then just get out there and knock on doors. Mm -hmm. If you've got if you've got the money, then you know then the, you know, buy ads, you know TV, radio, uh, social media, a lot of different ways out there to get you know to get your message out. Perfect, terrific. Uh, sounds like a, a plate full of advice from Tom. Uh, build on your strengths. Get out there, make connections. Tom, thanks for the advice. Good to see you. Thank you, Paul. Hi, Paul of GrowMedia.com here with Martine Corte. Martine, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you so much. Well, uh, Martine is the queen of all side hustle, I like to call her. <laughs> uh, she has so many businesses going on. Martine, what business are you in? I work with the average person that wants to launch a business and I take them step by step by their hand to help them understand their passion and to grow it and eventually launch their business. Wow, and so you take their hand step by step. It must make me feel very comfortable as I as I go to launch my business. Absolutely. And so you call that coaching? Is that how you define yes. that? Yes, one-on-one coaching to help them feel comfortable about what they're doing and to get started. Well, it's a big step to jump out there from the nine to five. You made it after many years and a yes. good job. And uh, you made it not only into uh, coaching, but into uh, we just got to list some of the other things. We don't have time to go into them. What else are you doing? I'm speaking. I'm an author. Um, I'm also into real estate. Um, I'm a radio show co-host. 
I do a lot of things. And tell us about the pop-ups. <laughs> oh, so the boutique, we do events around town in the community. We have an African boutique, and so we'll showcase our wares, our, clo our clothes, our jewelry, African butters, um, soaps, and things like that. And if I wanted to take a trip to Ghana, who do I talk to? Yes, you talk to me because uh, that's our other business. <laughs> tell take, us about that briefly. Sure, we take group trips to Ghana, West Africa, um, a small group, maybe anywhere between 10 and 15 people to learn about their roots. Um, okay. If they're from, you know, a background of uh, African uh, descent or something sure. sort of like that, but it's for anyone that wants to go and learn more about Ghana. Because this year is a big year, of a his, uh, historic year? Yes, 2019 marks 400 years when the first enslaved wow. African came to Virginia. That's amazing. That's amazing. So real estate, pop-up, um, uh, boutique, uh, speaking, coaching, authoring, um, a whole bunch. So that's why yeah. you're the queen of, uh, <laughs> queen of side hustle. Tell us, why do you do all this? Because I have a heart to serve. I learned that back when I was volunteering at the Omaha Public Library over the summertime, their summer radio program, and I absolutely had to discover who I was, and that's how it happened. And serving was it. And serving was it. I think we all should be a servant at some level That's to terrific. learn more about yourself. That's terrific. I, I think I know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. What differentiates you and all these businesses from all the other people who are, might be dabbling in these businesses? Because I have a true passion to help other people and I like to work one-on-one -on -one with you and take you step-by-step -step through your journey to help you accomplish the things that you're trying to accomplish. Awesome. Martine Corte. Uh, Martine, what's your website? It is martinecorte.com. You can find me on all social medias at Martine Corte. And we'll find her. And Martine, thanks for joining us. You are welcome. We'll talk to you again next time. Hi, Paul Madsen with GrowMedia.com. I'm here with Paige Zuderburn of the Strictly Business Magazine. Paige, good to see you. Thank you. Thank hey, you for having me. Yeah, great to talk to you today. Hey, Paige, tell us, what business are you in? Well, we are in the publishing business. We publish a magazine in both Lincoln and Omaha. The purpose of our magazine is to help our clients get their message out, help educate the readers um, about their business, who they are, what they do, why people want to do business with them. Perfect, perfect. That's a lot to do in a lot in a short short sentence there. Uh, both B two B business to business and business to consumer. Yes, yes. We okay. find that the uh, magazine is read by both the business owner and all the employees within the company, and they're reading it for personal use as much as business use. Wow, wow. Well, that makes sense. Uh, a lot of pass on use too, or pass on readership in yes, offices. Yes, we find the magazine has a very long shelf life. Most businesses hold on to it for three to four months, and then it gets passed around throughout the entire office, so all the employees get a chance to read it. That saves some mailing costs for you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Great. Great. Hey, Paige, tell me, tell me, why are you in this business? I mean, that's kind of a crazy business, isn't it? Deadlines and, and uh, overruns and underruns and all sorts of technical issues. Uh, why are you in this crazy publishing business? Well, I think, first of all, because I love it. Um, I'm in it because I want to help my clients grow their business, get their message out there, help them show their story, help people get to know them more as an individual than just as a corporation, so that people really get to know um, their business and get them get to know them as an individual. It sounds like you enjoy the the relationship aspect. I love the relationship Getting, part. I mean, how do, you, how do you build that with you when you're working with clients? I mean, how does that work? Well, I think first of all, it just is, um, comes down to caring about the clients, caring about their success, getting to know them as a as an individual, um, spending time with them, um, and I, I do a lot of networking events, and so helping to connect my clients with other businesses that they need to meet and get to know. Great, great. Well, lastly, uh, tell us, lots of print out there, lots of content, lots of online stories. Uh, what makes Strictly Business different than all the other content marketing out there? Okay. Well, the first, uh, first and foremost is just all the value add that we do. We do the stories, the articles, get their picture in there, really trying to brand them. We're also um, print, but we're online. So we're um, online, we push everything out on social media channels. Um, also, just that relationship that I have with the clients of helping them. Um, I become kind of a, a counselor. <laughs> um, a, Paige, how do I do this? <laughs> yes, exactly. Certainly, you've, you've interviewed a, or had a story about XYZ kind of company. What would you tell them when they had a staffing issue? Or, you right. Know, probably well, hear that kind of thing a lot. Well, and I think a lot of it, too, is um, I'm probably one of the few uh, owners that is a salesperson. So I'm uh, out there as a salesperson, exactly. but I know what it's like to own the business and well, to deal with staffing issues and all those type of things. Because you're an owner. Yes. Paige, Zudavern, Strictly Business Magazine, both covers Omaha and Lincoln. And Lincoln. Paige, great to see you today. Thank you so much.
Hi, Paul Madsen with GrowMedia.com here. I'm with Dave Mitchell. Dave, Thank welcome to the studio. Me. Good yep. to have you here today. Yep. Thank and you. Dave is uh, the CEO, founder, owner, president, etc., of, of uh, Gamers, and uh, he's got a great story to tell. D Dave, tell us, what business are you in? So I'm in a video game business where we actually retail um, video games and we actually buy them in at the same time. Now with this business, it's a business that's meant to help build and sustain a community for video gamers, where you can have, go to, have a place to go to, be able to trade in and exchange all of your old video game inventory, merchandise, whatever you have set up in your household, in exchange for a new game. Sounds like it's more than just a place where I go buy something and come out again. It sounds like you, you've got people covered top to bottom. You've got new games, mm -hmm. uh, I can repair my game yep. consoles, I can buy old games, I can get refurnished, I can hang out. Uh, right. is, it, is it all those things and more? Yep, it's all those things. Buy, sell, trade, repair. We even got arcade machines where you can <laughs> come in and you can have fun. So we do the whole nine. And that's the type of community I want to have. I want people to be able to come into this place and feel comfortable and be able to feel like they're not forced into buying something that they really don't want. Well, we how is that different than, say, the national brands or the national names? I mean, tell me what's mm -hmm. different that way. So the difference between us and other nat national brands is we always price match. We can always outbeat other people. Is we actually sell, um, use um, previous and retro gen game consoles and games that most other places don't sell. Most okay. most places only sell new gen game consoles and new gen video games. So we actually sell all retro Nintendo, Super Nintendo, all the stuff that you grew up and loved as a young boy or a young girl, yeah. if you were as old as me, then <laughs> yeah, you could be able to re you could be able to re-enjoy all those great things yeah. by going into a gamers and purchasing it. So a lot more personalization, a lot more customization, a lot more of a of a community sense. Uh, right. Dave, I know that you've come over a variety of hurdles in your life and and uh, to get where you are now. Uh, both business-wise and personal-wise. Uh, just tell us, why are you in business and why are you in this business? Well, I'm in this business just because it's something that I feel the need to be in. I love video games, I love electronics. It's something I've been into since I was 12 years 12 old. 12 years old, yeah. And I opened up my business back when I was 14 years old for Craigslist.org. So it's something that I feel the need to st continue to stay in to inspire young African-American male and young pe un underprivileged people that feel like there's no hope or nothing going on for themselves. Well, you're, you're a true example of that and mm -hmm. you are an inspiration to me and hope to others as well. Okay. Dave, thanks for visiting. Dave, Dave uh, Mitchell of Gamers, uh, get out there and check it out, and thanks for joining us. Hi, Paul Madsen here of GrowMedia.com. Today joining me is Lisa Pelto of Concierge Marketing. Lisa, good to see you. Thank you. It's good hey, to see you. Great to have you here at the KPAO TV studios. And uh, Lisa, tell us, what business? are you in? I'm in the business of helping people realize their dream of sharing their story. Uh, concierge Marketing helps people put together a publishing company and then publish their work uh, and help them get it out to the world. So you get their story out for the world. So somebody might not have a, only has an idea about a book or so, yet someone has a manuscript but they don't know what to do with it. Either side, mm -hmm. you help them do that? Absolutely. Wherever they are in the book process, we have programs for them. And you've done this how many times? About 960. Wow, that's a lot of books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start? Um, I actually started in the publishing uh, world in 1980 with an architect. Uh, worked for a nonprofit, Boys Town Press, uh, for about 10 years, and then I started my business in 2004. And it found you. Tell and us what that means. Me. Uh, I just love being around authors, people that want to share their story. Um, I always say that people have a uh, have changed the world. They want to change the world or they have created their own world and they want to share it. <laughs> They've created their own world and they want to share it. Yep. I love it, and a book is a great vehicle to do that, isn't it? It so, is. Yeah. Well, tell us, Lisa, what makes, there's a lot of publishing services out there. Mm -hmm. What makes uh, concierge marketing different than all of those? We're different in the way that we help people put together their independent publishing um, company to help support their own work. Um, and then they realize all of the royalties and everything they keep 
uh, keep all of that. They have all of editorial and creative control. Well, it's true self-publishing yep. and self-publishing has a, their own company even, yes. so they get some tax advantages. Yep. Sometimes yep. there too. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, it just works out on all, all, on all fronts because they keep more money than they would if they were uh, be a, a New York publisher or something, right? Yeah, I find they, they like the control more than the money <laughs> a lot of times. Right, Control right. is everything in the book. Well, well, tell us about some creative people that you're working with right now. Um, <clears throat> George Ayub is the author of this book. He wanted to write a story about John Gostrock, who was the former publisher of the World Herald. Uh -huh. This is all about his life and all of the various, the word confluence came from all of the various tributaries that went into building the man that he is. Okay. He wow. was, he's been on the boards of does lead very or high profile, you know, yeah. very high profile and has done a ton of stuff. If you're going to a play in Omaha or you're, uh, you see art in Omaha, there's a very good likelihood that he had something to do with wow. getting it here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing and, story. And you, your company helped get this book out there. Yes. We helped, um, George put together the the book, uh, take the manuscript and put it into book form, cool. editorial for the pictures and things like that. What else do you have? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> this is the one I was uh, talking about earlier, the healthcare is killing us. These guys put together um, this, uh, they call themselves disruptive innovators. Right. <laughs> and uh, that program helps them, Health uh, Jones, helps put together yeah. uh, programs for companies where they can um, devise a system that Did they have better. a manuscript done when they came to you? Um, partially done. I see. Partially and is this done. book their business or is it augment their other business? This augments their other business of consulting with companies. Builds credibility, right? Absolutely. You bet. Yep. Uh, lastly, there's a good one there I like to have focus on. The Who wrote that one? I wrote this one. Lisa wrote this yeah. one. Yes, so, yes. Um, meet Lisa me at the Pelto says so there right I am. there. Paula Wallace did the illustrations. Um, this book I sell primarily at farmers markets. I don't really concentrate on bookstores. Right. For this one, uh, we do lots of festivals and farmers markets and um, face painting when the little kids come up to the farmers market booth. And, right, right. And okay, that. sure. It's Perfect market for that. Children's book, of course. It's really so fun. You, yeah. Uh, what percentage of your your publishing services have you gone done toward children's books? Do you think? Uh, about 30%. Really? That yeah. much? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a big part. A lot of people want to write a children's book, don't they? Yeah. And I advise people, you know, there's no better, there's never been a better time to do it. Sure. Well, the, the technology is there and the yep. ideas are there. And with, with people like Lisa on hand, uh, she can get your message out there, whether it's children's books, fiction or nonfiction as well. Mm -hmm. Lisa, yeah. great to see you. Thank you. Same to you. Thanks for joining this Grow Media Moment. Hi, I'm Paul Madsen with GrowMedia.com. Today, I'm here with Kiana Arkia yep, and Katie Rain. Yes. Welcome, ladies, to the studio. Thank you. Thank nice you. to have you. Hey, yeah. tell us, Katie, what business are you in? Okay, so I am an international businesswoman and model. I am also the owner of Rain's Production and Arts Collaborative. That's all about executing your vision, your plan, and then, or excuse me, your vision, your plan, and then executing it. And then I'm also owner of Rain's Magic the Detox, and that is a radio podcast, as well as juices, as well as events, and a book that will well, be coming out in May That's 20, a lot. 20. You've got the event, event uh, thing, the marketing thing, the modeling thing, the mm -hmm. arts collaborative. You also have the Glam Squad coming out. Tell us about that, yes. Kiana. So um, again, my name's Kiana. Um, I'm the, the owner, beauty goddess. Yes, yes, the yes. owner and creator, I would say creator of the beauty goddess. Um, I am a makeup artist, self-taught, and I am a jewelry designer. Um, I have a copper and healing crystal line that I will be launching in January. Um, you know, uh, copper has a lot of health, wellness, and beauty benefits as well as healing crystals. So putting them together, uh, copper enhances the power of crystals. So you're just going to be feeling great. Put that whole power wear, together, yes. don't you? Yes, you'll, and, you'll and feel you do godly. Katie's makeup as well. Yes, well, done that's by a, me. A, yeah. a nice yeah. job. Yes. Hey, Katie, tell us, uh, you've got a book coming out in 2020. What's it called? It's called Rain's Magic. Again, that's under Rain's Magic the Detox. It is actually called Rain's Magic the Detox, The Art of Food. And it's coming out in 2020? Yes. It's your I story as well as stories about wellness and wholeness and all mm -hmm. that. And how I approached, because uh, I explored veganis veganism, but that put me in too much of a box. Okay. Um, gotcha. So that's just my journey of 
longevity and actually having a vital life and looking vibrant and everything like Sounds that. So great. you can have a healthy lifestyle. Sounds it's just great. my journey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kiana, tell us about the Glam Squad event. Okay, so basically what that is going to be consisting of is everything beauty. Mm -hmm. So, for example, makeup artists. If you're a makeup artist, if you're a hairstylist, <laughs> if you're a, a nail tech, a jewelry designer, a model, basically everything that has to do with beauty, we're going to all combine this. this we're all under one roof at yes. an event? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. You're going to showcase, you're going to network, um, you're going to enjoy yourself. Um, you know, you're going to yeah, network, meet new people, mm -hmm. uh, expand, you know, step out your comfort zone a little bit and just, you know, have fun. Mm -hmm. But all, it'll all, all be wild. showcased like gallery style. Yeah. Katie sounds like a lot of energy under one roof, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Uh, a lot it's of gonna related be a lot. synergy and all mm -hmm. that good stuff, that holistic thing that we like to yes. talk about. And then we're working also with another powerhouse, Votto Films, mm -hmm. to Shout make all out. this happen. So Okay. Well, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Well, um, Katie and Kiana, Kiana yes. thank you so much for joining us. Thank check, you. Check their websites out and what's going on with all of them. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Paul Madsen with GrowMedia.com. I'm here with Phil Madsen of Anytime Fitness of Port Orange, Florida. Phil, good to see you. Thank you. Uh, good, great to have you here. Great to have you here, man. Uh, hey, uh, Phil, I'm going to just jump right in and ask you the question. What business are you in? Well, we happen to own a gym, but the business we're in is we help people overcome their barriers to fitness success. Wow, overcome their barriers to fitness success. That is a packed statement. What what is what does barriers mean and what does fitness success mean? Well, everybody has an idea of what fitness looks like for them. You know, they're in a particular state now and they want to improve that state. So we determine, first of all, what, it, what does it mean for them to succeed fitness-wise? That varies a lot from individual to individual. Okay. And then there's always, a, you know, they're not there yet. So something's been holding them back. How do we overcome whatever, how do we identify what that is and then how right. do we overcome it to help them get where they want to get? And what is the fitness success part? Well, again, that depends on the person. It might be a weight loss goal, that's very common. But really, behind the weight loss goal is they want to look good at the class reunion. Yeah. And behind <laughs> that is they care deeply about what other people think about them. Now, all of a sudden, you're into a self-esteem issue uh -huh. and now we get to work on the barriers, the real barrier that okay. overcomes the fitness success. And they realize, you know what, maybe I don't need to be thinking about so-and-so from 20 years ago. <laughs> I can be thinking about myself today, and now I can enjoy working out for me instead of working out for other people. Sounds great. It sounds like a multi-layered uh, situation where people have to, a big picture, but yet it's simple enough to get out there and act. Hey, what, lots of gyms, lots of facilities down there in Port Orange. Uh, what makes uh, Anytime Fitness different than the rest? First of all, we're really, really good, and we work hard to be really good at helping people overcome these barriers. A lot of people will come in and say, well, what are your fitness goals? Okay, we'll go ahead and do 20 push-ups or come into the gym and hit the treadmill here and do this and do that. But they're not getting at the real reason why people want to be in shape. Okay. That's what makes us different. And then the other thing is we specialize in a, in a particular segment of the market. We like to work with people who are living the second half of their life, age 50 and above, because for them, fitness matters more than if you're younger. If you're younger, people tend to put it off. You know, I've got time, I can work out later. Good but point. when you're older, you start to experience instantly the, uh, the negatives of being out of shape or, you know, being unfit. And we can help turn that around. Perfect. And by specializing in that market, we understand their needs better than, than a younger gym staff would. That uh, ties in nicely with the book written by uh, Phil and Diane Madsen, Feel Younger Longer. And I think if you uh, check out their facility in Port Orange that you'll get that vibe, get that feel. Phil, thanks so much for being with us. Good to see you. Thank you, Paul. Take care. Hi. Thanks for joining us. I'm Paul Madsen. I'm here with Marjorie Sturgeon Hi. and uh, Richard Lewis. They are with Weberized, and thanks for joining us today. Hey, Marjorie, yeah. what business are you in? 
We are Weberize, and we are your one-stop shop for creating a podcast to promote your business, hype an idea, share human interest stories. Wow, sounds like everything I need as a small business to get out there and compete in the wonderful world of social media and digital media as well. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Hey, Richard, why are you guys in this business? To tell stories. We want to help people tell stories. We want to help those people who have... Uh, uh, we want to help those people who have something inter interesting to say. We want to share their passion. They want to share their ideas. We want to provide a platform for them, for them to do that. Wow. Well, that's terrific. And uh, there's a lot of platforms out there, a lot of ways to make this kind of story content out there on the internet these days. Uh, what makes uh, WebRise different, Marjorie? Um, that's our, our backgrounds are in storytelling. Um, we uh, worked in news for many, many years and um, it just, it's part of our uh, ingrained in who we are. Yeah, for 15 years each or so, roughly, uh, real live newsrooms, major media markets and so on. Huh? You, you, you got some pretty good experience with telling stories, Richard? Very much so. Yeah. I worked in print media for five years. I worked in t TV news production for another, good grief, 17 years. Wow, okay. Well, who's a typical client who can benefit from the Weberized service? So we serve anyone from independent creators to uh, businesses in, in the Omaha area. Okay, and so a typical business would, that would use your services would be what? It can be anything from healthcare industry um, to uh, construction, really, or a nonprofit even. You have a story to tell. You have a message that you need to get out there. Um, or thought leadership or brand awareness that you want to create, we can help you with that. Well, uh, I don't know anything about creating a podcast. What would you, uh, how do I get started with you? Uh, give us a call. Yeah, okay, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll walk us right through the whole plan. Right? Yes. Absolutely, yep. you can start from, from its very infancy to what needs to be the message you want to convey to the creation of that message to the placement of that message onto a platform that people can hear. Well, there you have it. Join the, uh, the hundreds of thousands of people who are already putting podcasts out there, but get the expertise of these two uh, behind that podcast at Weberize. Marjorie, good to see you. Richard, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us.